today we are going to check out the red high maintainer tech bar in survivor.io Check it out guys, the red high maintainer tech part has a legendary skill down here that says Shark Maw Gun X double shots. Fires two shots each time. Pretty self-explanatory there, let's go check it out. Here's the chapter 68 challenge, Fury, monsters gain haste. Let's go collect all of this biofuel on the ground. There is the RPG right away. As you see, the normal RPG will just fire one rocket at once, but when we evolve it into the Shark Maw Gun, it will fire two. And we have a four star RPG so far. Can we find a five star RPG and the HE fuel passive skill. Let's find out. Nope, not yet, but let's burn this refresh. Nope, not there either. Let's grab the lightning emitter. There's a lot of green biofuel on the ground. Let's keep on killing these enemies here and collecting it. And there's HE fuel. Here comes the first elite at the one minute mark, a little gerbil that's chasing us. Let's save that chest to evolve the RPG into the shark maw gun. And the RPG scavenger hunt has gone a little stale. I have not found it yet, but here is the lightning emitter. And I guess I'll open up this chest because here comes a boss at the two minute mark the bloom spinner let's kill it let's avoid these spinning pink balls and kill it we are getting approached by a bunch of mobs here scorpions squids and they are leaving lasting damage on the ground they're also leaving some pretty tasty biofuel down here some gold and blue stuff but these are not the skills that i'm looking for we need one more rpg where are you here comes another elite at the three minute mark it is getting very close but we wiped it out and we are opening up this treasure chest right here and getting just one drone. Where is the freaking RPG? There you are, we found the five star RPG. Let's go open up this chest. And here we go, we have evolved the RPG into the shark maw gun. It is going to fire twice now. There's one, there's two, look at that, twice. Here's another boss at the four minute mark. It is the dystopian king. Let's kill him, let's dethrone them. And here is the spirit shuriken. We have evolved the kunai and look at it, just waste the boss right there, we killed it. Here's the energy cube. We can decrease our cooldown by a percentage. And look at that. The shark maw gun fires faster now. The shark maw gun is now going to fire two rockets at once. And they're not going to follow each other each time. They will hit different targets. Look at this. They're firing in different directions right now. In addition, I would also like to try it in a vertical chapter. Because the RPG and Molotov are both great at kill farming on vertical chapters. Like chapter 4. And we just killed that elite. Our health is low. We need some help here. We need to get this food. Can we make it to this food yes we can let's grab more energy cube as well here is a four star energy cube passive skill so we are firing off these rockets a little bit quicker look at this one two a one two punch right there so we are pretty much getting double the damage with the shark mug gun since we are firing off two rockets at once now here comes another boss the crystal levy Thian. we killed it i don't know how to pronounce words and here comes another elite with a bunch of mobs what are you guys all doing why are you guys all doing this to me it's getting very crowded oh no they are pushing me over into a corner let's run up here what are you guys doing why are you doing this to me let's grab this magnet here is the supercell and let's grab the high power bullet maybe if we increase our attack we can handle these mobs we killed that elite so we can grab this chest and here's another high power bullet save us shark maw gun save us double rockets can we do it we have not died yet so far we can revive twice we will have a boost each time we revive but we are safe so far up here in this corner the shark maw gun is apparently saving us what is happening here so as you see it is firing double rockets it's hitting the enemies up top and below us and helping us out here comes another boss mg tyrant more soccer ball we have a five-star soccer ball and here is the quantum ball as well as a five-star high power bullet passive skill look at all of this biofuel on the ground we can increase our movement speed be a little faster here we are wearing void breaker tread so if our movement speed is increased we can deal potentially more damage to enemies here comes an elite at the seven minute mark it died right away let's go open up its treasure chest in its memory it left us sports shoes it left us a pair of shoes check out the shark mug gun it is pretty big i would like to die see if we can get big bigger rockets see if we can get a boost from the revival effect so let's die right here and let's see are the rockets bigger yes they are they look bigger so do the boomerangs the boomerangs look bigger as well here comes the final boss at the eight minute mark let's kill it come here rage fire tyrant let's get it with the shark mug gun look at all of these rockets going off we are just shooting off rockets galore get them get the final boss with the rockets we did it the spirit shuriken had 31 percent with 25.4 billion followed by the shark mug gun look at this 23 
23%, 19.1 billion. Good for you, Shark Ma Gun. The Shark Ma Gun with the high maintainer tech part, in my opinion, is really fun. It essentially pretty much just deals double the damage. And that can be very effective in certain situations, especially vertical chapters when you're farming kills and maybe against some bosses since it does fire at a single target. I do like the red high maintainer tech part. We'll have to try it a lot more. We will have to test it out in Ender's Echo as well. So if you want to see that, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.